Today we'll be looking at Hasbro's G.I. Joe Classified Series Snake Eyes figure. So now that we have him out of the package, we can get a closer look at him. Now with him being all black, it's throwing off the lighting on here, but we'll see how well we can get a good look at him. So we got the head, which we have a full 360 rotation. Then we have him up. You see his head goes straight and then down. He can't quite necessarily look up. Uh, we got full shoulder rotation up and down. Elbow, the wrist. Looks like the wrist is on a peg. So it only rotates, it doesn't have any articulation to it. The same on this side with everything. Uh, we got the ab crunch, which he is very, very loose. So we have some accessories already on him. We have the grenade belt. Then we have his regular weapon belt right here. We have the knife holster, the gun holster. We have a little section for the grenades right here too. I don't know if it's picking it up quite right. So we have full rotation of the hips. You can do the full splits. Uh, we have articulation uh, in the knees. Looks like we have two joints. We have rotating right here at the shin. There we go. Uh, we got full ankle rotation, so it can completely turn, so it's not in a peg like most of the Hasbro figures. So I was hoping he would have different hands that come with it, but it didn't come with any different hands at all. It was just the ones that come with him. Alright, so now that we've got a closer look at the figure, let's go and take a look at his accessories and see what it comes with. So we have the pack. And it has the peg right here for it to snap in through it here into his back. Which seems like you gotta put quite a bit of force to get on there. There we go. And it still doesn't fully go all the way in. And then we have the, um, quite remember what this is called for what the sword goes into. And also another peg for it to be able to sit on his back. Then we have the sword. Let's get a closer look at that. We have the handle. And then yes, it does fit in there quite nicely. So that way he can wear it on his back and be able to pull it out anytime he's ready. Uh, we have a knife. Which fits right inside his right here. You see it just slips right in there. <clears throat> then we have the machine gun. We have his pistol.
There we go. Which that also will fit on this side right here if it'll focus. There we go. So I'll fit right in that pack right here. Just slips in just like so. And then what slips in right here in this circular part, if we can move his hand, would be, I believe it would be either a flash grenade or a smoke grenade. And voila, just slides in just like so. That way he can be fully decked out in everything. Of course the grenade belt is removable and his other belts right here are removable. You would just have to uh, detach the arm. It's as simple as just popping it out and then slipping it off and over. But I notice, I don't know if it's just this one or they're all, as I pointed out earlier, he's very loose in the ab crunch area. He has full motion of going forward and a full back bend. And even with the ab crunch issue, you can even stand just fine. Even with him leaning awkwardly, he still has good balance. So this figure is good for displaying because he doesn't fall as easy, even with him being very loose and off balance looking, he still does not fall. So it's good for displaying. My only concern is with it being this loose, if it would break easily. If like my daughter played for her for a little bit, would this break and he would just be just completely fully loose after break, after breaking. And then as you can see right here, his thigh sockets are extremely gapped. You see this one is tightly in, this one is just very loose and just looks like it's just hanging. So I don't know if this figure, if there's an issue with this figure or all the figures, all the snake eyes have that issue, or if it's just the one that I got, but now there's a massive gap right here in the thigh. And then the ab crunch, very loose. So all in all, if all the figures are like that, I would not recommend getting this just because the fact how loose he is and how much of a gap it is and how misproportioned, like if you look, even his foot is longer than the other foot. If I can get him lined up. This one dips down more, so it is misproportioned in the thighs for it to be uh, in the hip and thigh area, for it to be like one longer than the other. So I definitely would not recommend this figure. There we go. Yeah, see, he still falls. He was standing good, but now he's falling constantly. So, yes, I would not recommend this figure. I would probably see if get other G.I. Joe figures, but I would not recommend the Snack Eyes. I mean, his accessories are cool. Ooh, hit the camera, my bad. But his accessories are really cool. The sword, the gun, the knife, everything, you know. But just the quality of the figure is very low quality. I would not, like I said, I would not get this one again. I probably wouldn't even check out the rest of the GI. As much as I love GI Joe, I would not get the other ones just based off of how this figure is. So if you guys want to get one, it's up to you. I definitely wouldn't get the rest. But I'll have a link in the description of where you can find these figures on both the Hasbro site. And I will put up the Amazon link too, so you can be able to get them on Amazon. Uh, if you guys haven't subscribed already, be sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and see you guys next time. So also another quick side note, I was 
messing with it and I got the gun in his hand but the gun is too heavy so it tilts down you can see it has like this down tilt like so the gun is too heavy for him to hold also sword doesn't fit in his hand so yeah they should have had different hands the hands doesn't even open wide enough for me to fit the sword in either going through the front right here or sliding it in through the top it does not fit and the gun again just droops down the wrist doesn't hold it up and then the elbow joints same thing doesn't hold it up yeah